Some of y'all may be familiar with the Paris Corner Kyra line and we're gonna see if they're going three for three because right now they have really impressed me as far as the DUP. You said it, not me. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about their latest one. This is Kyer Confection. I know y'all wanna know how closely it resembles Miss Vanilla Candy Rock Sugar by K. Ali. So we gonna talk all about them, but if you're new here, hey, I'm Chi Chi, and I talk about all things lavish but logical. So if that's your sort of thing, go ahead, subscribe, make some friends in the comment section, and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. So if you do know, or maybe you don't know, so far in this line, they have been hitting it, every last one of them. I first started off with pistachio. If you haven't seen it, linked it, bong bong up top. This was a phenomenal, phenomenal, um, mirror image of the uh, the original and then they hit us with fusion which is a sparkling lychee and they also they hit it with this again review bong bong up top so when this came out <clears throat> i was like looking at the promotion and i was like oh wait it's in this bottle this must be the mirror for vanilla candy rock sugar so i was like you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and place the order because i already know somebody's gonna ask me i did it before y'all asked okay so bottle is really pretty this is the first time i've seen them have a clear bottle which was a little bit different compared to their frosted bottles uh so yeah we're we're talking too much about the things that don't matter does it smell like it are they three for three they're three for three guys <laughs> they're three for three like mona gonna have to call up the legal now i will say like kayali is a bit more warmer like a bit more thicker but if you're still trying to get the essence of it i fear they ate that <laughs> i fear they ate that now it's funny because there were some people online who were a little bit disappointed due to the notes you know and it's kind of the same vibe and feeling that we had with kaoli you know you thought you were gonna have this uber sugary sweet confectionery all all of the things right and people were surprised that it was more like a sugary um like almost like a candy pear so people were like oh like this isn't what i thought it would be you know so i was just like i kind of do <laughs> but let's get into the notes while we're talking about it so kyra confection has the top notes of pear and whipped cream heart notes of jasmine langy lang and cashmeron and base notes of sandalwood marshmallow and vanilla and then with um what is that vanilla rock sugar but in kaoli we have top notes of candy pear violet leaves rum langy lang marshmallow vanilla cream middle notes of jasmine labdanum white caramel bubble gum jelly beans base notes of tonka vetiver sandalwood cashmere woods patchouli rock sugar and the kaoli signature accord which is some sort of vanilla i'm guessing allegedly and you can smell that. Whereas this one, it's almost like a lighter version of the rock sugar, but it's still nice. It still gives you the vibe, but all of the, the deeper notes that really just settle in after a while, those start peaking up. You know, you get hit with that rum that truly is starting to come up in play on my skin which I'm not really happy about but that initial burst 1000% oh yeah it smells like this I will say that this doesn't have those notes like the bubble gum in the rum so it's not as like boozy or like just a little bit more grown and I remember when I first talked about this I got labelle vibes from this and i still do put it in that category so as far as like how close to the mark 
I would definitely say it's a solid mm, like 92%. As long as you're scoring in the 90s, like, are we really gonna complain about it? No. But for those of you who really don't know what the rock sugar smells like, this honestly smells like the candied pears in like a ooey gooey syrup, not like maple syrup or anything like that. Like, you know how you sprinkle, like make sugar uh, and you put, combine it with berries and stuff and it, you get a really nice sweet compote. Although there's no rum in here, like you throw a little rum on it, <clears throat> you know, but you still have that beautiful like sugary crust. That's kind of the vibe that you get from this. So again, the imagery of confection and even the imagery of Kayali, you were thinking lollipops and all this stuff, but it's honestly like big pears. That's what it is. It's sugary, it is sweet, but not in the sense of gumballs and jelly beans and all of the, you know, the sugary, sweet, you know, type of uh, fragrances, fragrances, candies that you would associate when you look at the imagery of what they're trying to sell. It like, I wouldn't even think about that. I would think baked dessert, you know? A fruit, a, a, a baked pear, poached pear. Honestly, that's what it is. It, but it still smells good. It is affordable. Very, very, very close to um, Kayali. Now, since the Kayer line, in my opinion, is ranking in the 90 percentile, can we get um, the silks on top <laughs> and must 12 because must 12 is now officially discontinued. So I would not mind spending my money on Kyrie versions of those two. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, but I think this is a fantastic alternative to the original. It does what it needs to do. And as far as longevity you do get a, a few hours with this kaoli's is definitely longer stronger and a, a little bit sweeter i will say that it's just a hair just a little bit just a little sprinkle of extra sugar in there that they tipped over into the bowl i gotta wrap this video up because the sun comes in and out do i recommend this yes i do like it the only real big difference is that they don't have that bubble gummy note in there that rum and this is a, a, a little bit sweeter, but nothing like crazy. If you're curious about layering combinations, I'm just gonna go ahead and link my original K. Ali layering combination video review, all that good stuff. Check out some other videos and I'll talk to you in the next one.